Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row, meteorologist Chad Raiflisberger. Well, if you have any plans uh, later on this evening to be outdoors, no weather worries expected. We're looking at lots of clear skies. You'll probably need a jacket or a sweatshirt here later on this evening as well. As temperatures fall back into the 30s later on tonight. Now, right now, 47 on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera in Oshkosh, showing those sunny skies as we approach our early evening hours on this Friday. Here in Green Bay, 47 as well. Not much wave action out there on Fox River here this evening. So, again, things very quiet across northeast Wisconsin. Those temperatures for many of us, mid to upper 40s. We should be near 52 or 53 this time of the year, so just a few degrees below where we should be uh, for today. This will feel warm compared to some of the temperatures we're expecting by next week. Now, we do have some warmer air well off to our south and west. We will try to tap into some of that for the upcoming weekend with highs back into the lower 50s, but we're watching off to the north once again a cold air mass really starting to develop across far northern Canada and the Arctic regions, and we start to tap into some of that colder air as well over the next several days. So for tomorrow, high temperatures, very seasonal in the lower 50s. Lower 50s again on Sunday, but look what happens. All that blue off to the north and west starts to make its way into Wisconsin by next week. 46 for your high on Monday, struggling to hit 40 on Tuesday. And then look at this, upper 30s for highs Wednesday and again on Thursday. And it looks like those temperatures will even stay quite chilly around this time next week. Now, right now, we're looking at, again, lots of clear skies, barely any clouds across northeastern Wisconsin so far today. The radar is very quiet as well. High pressure just off to our south, keeping us quiet and dry for tonight. Notice, however, more clouds off to the south will start to make their way northward, especially during the afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. So Futurecast is showing those clear skies as we make our way through the overnight and into early Saturday morning. I think early tomorrow we start the day with plenty of sunshine and even into the early afternoon, especially the further north and west you are from Green Bay, you'll still see a good amount of sun. Further south and east, more cloud cover for the second half of your Saturday. And then a storm system passing just off to our south and east will be close enough where a few of us, especially across the eastern portions of the state, do get into a few light rain showers. This will be late Saturday and into early Sunday morning. By the time you wake up around 7 o'clock Sunday morning, most of that rain is out of here. We get back into the sunshine, look for a mix of sun and clouds for your Sunday afternoon before some more unsettled weather returns by next week. High school football level one of the playoffs kick off tonight. Kickoff temperatures around 7 o'clock this evening, right around 40. And then as the game wraps up later on this evening, they'll drop back into the mid and upper 30s. But good news is that conditions out in the fields are looking dry. Otherwise, for the rest of tonight, low temperatures upper 20s to around 30. And then for your Saturday, a sunny start to the day. More clouds by the afternoon, especially for southern areas. Maybe a spotty rain shower late in the day as well, with highs in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Your seven-day planner has nice weather on Sunday. A light wintry mix arrives late Monday into Tuesday. And then high temperatures really bottom out into the upper 30s for highs Wednesday and again on Thursday. You can always get the latest weather information through the weekend on our website as wearegreenbay.com. So if you're going out for football, layer up. Yeah, layer up, but light winds so it won't feel all that bad. All right, we well, thank you, Chad. And before